Authorities had to fish her head out of a pot of soup. Now they continue their search for more evidence. Abby Choi was one of Hong Kong's most exclusive socialites. She was a model, and her luxurious life gave her a huge amount of followers. Abby was young and beautiful, but she had one problem. She had a big heart. This case is what some people say is the movie Rich Crazy Asians Meet Parasite. Abby Choi Tin Fung was born on July 11, 1994. Her father and mother Chung Yin Fa divorced shortly after Abby was born. Abby was the youngest of four daughters, and the family was very wealthy. Her family made a fortune by operating a construction and mining business in mainland China and Hong Kong. The family lived a luxurious life, owning multiple properties worth millions of dollars. Abby's family was private, so not much is known about her childhood, but at the age of 18, Abby got married. She married 18-year-old Alex Kwong, and that same year she gave birth to their first child. A few years later, they had their second child. Alex's family had a different background. They were not multimillionaires like Abby and her family. In fact, Alex's dad, Kwong Kao, was a former police sergeant who resigned from the Hong Kong Police Department in 2005 after being involved in some kind of S assault. Although there are not many details about their marriage, we can understand that they married very young, and maybe that is why they ended up divorcing in 2016, or maybe it was Alex's lifestyle. Alex was unemployed, and in 2015 he launched what was an underground investment scam, and that affected four wealthy businessmen. They invested around 5 million Hong Kong dollars, and Alex's also robbed people and places. He stole 32 bracelets, 13 gold bars, 39 necklaces, 102 gold grains, 6 pendants, and 10 tails of gold. The family had some questionable morals, to say the least. Was this part of the reason why they divorced? We don't know. But even after the divorce, Abby would keep them around and treat them like family. She even went into business with Alex's brother, Anthony, and they would run a pancake stall. He also became her personal driver. They were really close. Now, even before her divorce, Abby started her Instagram account, and by posting just regular content, she gained a huge following. So by the time she divorced Alex, she was an extremely successful model. She appeared on the cover of L'Officiel Monaco. She was in Paris Fashion Week, Vogue, Haper's Bazaar, and she was hanging out with multiple celebrities. Abby was worth more than $100 million. She worked herself into these exclusive parties. She was included in Dior parties and a lot of luxury designers too, and these events were big. She was going to Bali, and all of this was on social media, newspapers, and magazines. And eventually, she got married again. In 2016, she found love again and married a man named Chris Tam whose father was the founder of a very well-known and highly reputable restaurant chain. The couple had two children together, and one thing about Chris is that he was delighted. He respected Abby's relationship with Alex and his family due to the healthy co-parenting. The couple, alongside the children, Alex and his family visited many places, including Disneyland. They hosted birthday parties together, Christmas, and dinners where the entire family was just one. Now Abby gave Alex and his family many gifts, but the main one was a luxurious apartment. Abby purchased her apartment close to where she lived. That way she could be close to her kids. This was in one of the most exclusive places in Hong Kong. And when she made the purchase, she put it in Alex's dad's name to avoid paying for the stamp for having multiple properties. The cost of the apartment was $8.5 million. It was an 1,800 square foot, four bedroom home with a private balcony, marble floors and walls, courtyard and security. This was also an investment for Abby, but there is a very important detail. In Hong Kong, it really doesn't matter if the property is in someone's name, if the person who paid for it wants it back. The only thing needed is the proof that the person paid for it. Abby and her family were worth over $100 million. She was fine and didn't need to be a mean person, which she wasn't really, but after a few years of having her ex and his family living comfortably and taking money from her, she decided that it was time for her to stop being naive. Abby made this purchase when she was young. She wanted nothing but a healthy relationship with the family so the kids could grow up in a happy home. So Abby decided that it was time for her to get the luxury apartment back and her plan was not to leave them homeless. Instead, she was going to help them look for a place. She just wanted them to make a living for themselves. Now the family was not happy about this. 
They were furious. They lived in there rent-free for over six years. I mean, they were lucky enough. At that point, you would have thought that they had something for themselves, but that was not the case. The family was in a bad financial position, cash was low, and they were drowning in debt. Alex's brother, Anthony, was in the pancake business alongside Abby and was her driver. He was 31, and he was in an immense amount of debt. Anthony was also unemployed despite having handouts from her, and he was struggling. Anthony liked the appearance and the rich lifestyle, and he liked to spend huge amounts of money on brand clothing, cars, and some questionable small business ideas. He was even sued by his local bank. The mother was also having a lot of financial issues. She declared bankruptcy three years prior to Abby's ultimatum. The red flag from that ultimatum came when Abby was threatened by her ex-father-in-law. He told her that if she kicked them out, he was going to kill her, and she, of course, got some legal counsel. But Abby was not a bad person, and she forgot about it pretty fast. Abby wanted to get a smaller place for the family, but they did not accept the offer, and instead started to plan the most heinous crime that you can imagine. Tuesday, February 21st, 2023. Abby was going to pick up her daughter from school like always, but she never made it. CCTV footage shows her on her way, but shortly after, she stopped answering phone calls and text messages. Abby was a huge influencer and socialite. Her phone was her work, so she always responded, and after two hours, she was reported missing. More than 100 police members quickly moved to search for her, and this is when they found out the CCTV footage. They quickly investigated her driver, Anthony, and he claimed that he had no idea where she was and that he hadn't seen her since the day before. The rest of the family lied too and claimed that they had no idea where she was, but none of their stories matched. They then went and checked the GPS, and soon they found out that someone drove 20 miles out of Hong Kong, and instead of asking more questions, they decided to go and investigate. They got into Lung Mei Tsuen, a small village, interviewing everyone in the area and looking in every corner. Sure enough, 72 hours after Abby went missing, they found what looked like an abandoned three-story house, but they were not ready for what was inside. The inside was completely covered in plastic sheets, windows, floors, and walls. They found raincoats and face shields. They also found a meat grinder, a hammer, and an electric saw. There was a fridge, and inside they found some legs. They were real. Then most disturbingly, they found two pots with what looked to be some strange soup, and inside they found a skull with some ribs and bones. Her torso was never found. Abby's handbag was inside the apartment. There was no doubt that it was her. Now the skull had what looked like a hole in the back, and this is when police theorized that on the day that Abby went missing, she left to pick up her daughter and her driver. Anthony picked her up. They drove and maybe Alex was in there or somewhere on the road. He got into the car and hit her with the hammer. It was later found that the apartment that was used was rented by Alex's father. He put it in the name of his mistress. He rented it for $1,300. Police arrested Anthony and his parents, but Alex was nowhere to be found. Because of that, the news of Abby's case were everywhere and he became the most wanted person in Hong Kong. Everyone was talking about this due to how gruesome it was and the family status. They were offering millions for Alex's capture, and special forces in Hong Kong were deployed, but his face was everywhere and he was arrested the next day. He was going to escape the country on a speedboat, and he had $60,000 in cash as well as over half a million dollars in luxury watches and jewelry, enough to escape. He paid for his escape, and the people who organized for his escape on the boat were arrested. His father's mistress was arrested too. They were charged with murder, and so far Alex was sentenced to three and a half years for stealing and other crimes not related to Abby's murder. This was because of all the things that he stole. To this day, the entire family and all the accused parties are waiting for trial. Abby's husband, Chris, is keeping her memory alive, and he is taking care of the children. Abby's family is doing everything they can to seek justice. This case has been one of the most shocking ones in Hong Kong.